And here I am again. Hello, everybody. How are you all? I'm cutting a stencil. Woo! A portrait stencil this time. And I'm starting off here on the first layer. Uh, well, not the first layer. This is the middle layer. It's the first stencil. This is the mid-tones. Uh, so the, the light grey to the white or the dark, depending on what paint you're using. So this is your middle tone. Um, this is the tone which will be a lot bigger and flowier and uh, bulkier. And as you can see, I'm not really cutting anything too simple uh sorry anything too complex here it's all pretty simple lines uh big lines that will give some uh tone to the shadows and highlights as you can see i cut very fast <laughs> and i like wearing a spider-man t-shirt because i'm a fully grown adult uh this is uh the sunglasses i'm cutting some sunglasses which is always fun um, as you can see i'm leaving the um island marks they call them islands where you connect everything together so it doesn't flop around and look like crap um, and then i'm cutting the face um which kind of yeah the, the mouth here kind of looks like she's got a mustache so um she hasn't got a mustache not in real life but um it looks like i did there so uh now we're on to the highlights the highlights of the the face so this is the white or the lightest tone you're going to use when you spray or paint this is what will make the painting pop uh, it's always for me i like to do big swoopy shapes on the face to highlight the forehead the cheeks the chin the mouth and what have you but um a lot of people don't do this layer so big i guess um i just put my feet up on the table oh there's her grills look at her grills nice grills there um and then just little picks of um white or highlight in the hair and then little triangles and circles on the dress the dress i'm trying to make into i'm just resting again get up uh the rest uh, the sorry the dress not the rest the dress is um sort of in an art nouveau style uh, that's why it's got lots of um circles and triangles uh, and now we're on to the as you see i'm drawing it there as you can just you can just about see the knife change to a pen uh, now i'm drawing the the dark or the detail the black um what else can i say the model the model is one of my friends called hannah there she is in that photograph uh hello hannah uh, I apologise for putting you on the internet. Uh, Hannah Red and Textiles, I believe, is her Instagram and her Twitter. So go follow her and tell her that um, I cut her face up real good. <laughs> um, on the, uh, the the black layer or the detail layer or the shadow layer is where you start getting or where I start getting a lot more technical and uh, everything gets a bit more like your drawing. So this is what really people will be most impressed with. I mean, the hair, lots and lots of strands. For this, I just use the reference photograph, which you can just see at the side of Hannah um, where I, I just follow where the hair goes so wherever the hair's falling on the photograph that's where my knife travels and it goes up and down and makes these strands of hair which um, actually is faster to to cut with a pen knife than it is to actually draw. Uh, the biggest challenge I had in this one is that I was wanted to not give her any eyes um, which you know not as sick as it sounds but uh, giving her sunglasses eyes are always oh check an Instagram follow me on Instagram um, eyes are always the thing I fall back on if a painting's going wrong or something I'm doing is not going well you go to the eyes you put a spark in your eyes you get the eyes right everything else falls into place this one the concept of this I wanted her looking out and um, having some writing wrote on those glasses which you'll see later um, because this is for a live event in an area where I wanted to uh, name check the area um, as you can see I'm just using the photo of Hannah there to follow around that hair the hair looks really cool actually um, I haven't sprayed this one yet so this may actually all cock up um, I hope not. That would be a shame, wouldn't it? Um, uh, the dress or the top. Um, I'm just making this bit up, really. As you can see, I've put some doodles here and there and spots and dots and triangles. And then I'm just adding detail, which is fake. Again, this may go completely wrong when I spray it. But sometimes when I go to spray it, I notice that they aren't in the wrong pla right place. So I just don't you know, don't spray it or you just don't paint that bit, mask and tape it over. Um, I haven't cut myself yet, which is a rare. I'm on the phone a lot in this video. I don't know why. Um, it's probably PPI, let's be fair. No one calls me. Uh, and, um, <laughs> um, oh, look at that. That was quite posh. <laughs> go, Steve, go. Um, I'm using a swan blade, if that's of interest. The top's looking really cool now. Uh, yeah, I was happy with that. And now we go up to the eyes. Um, and it's just an impression of the eyes because you don't really see the eyes through sunglasses you just see sort of a shadow of them so this is the impression of the eye and the impression of everything ah here we go now um this is the uh text that i want to spray over the sunglasses it says stokes croft which is an area in bristol where i will be spraying this painting at a live event so um 
I've done this on acetate, um, which are uh, what you use for overhead projectors. They're, they're plastic, thick plastic. Um, and I'm cutting through that. Much harder to cut. Um, a lot of people use these. Uh, they have the advantage that you can actually see underneath of uh, the, the, the transparency so you can get things lined up, which is really, really handy. Um, but you can use uh, like a soldering iron with a really uh, small nib on it, which will, uh, you know, get it really accurate. So if you don't like cutting with a Stanley knife, do that. Get some acetates and um, uh, burn it all. Anchor points, anchor points. Now this is how you get everything to line up. So I've stuck all three of them together at the top and then I've put three crosses, left, right, middle, and just cutting out across. People use triangles, circles. I always like a good cross because it's nice and easy to uh, cut. And then you just use that. So you spray the first one with the crosses and you can line up every other one from there. Oh, and here's me showing off. There's the new studio that I've just moved into. As you can see, it's a horrible carpet. That was the, uh, the black layer, the detail layer, the shadow layer. There's the mid range, which will be in this case, a light gray. Um, so yeah, they look quite good. She looks good. Um, and there's the highlights. Look at that. Yeah, good. I'm happy with it. So that's the three together. That's quite a cool shot, actually. Um, so there's me cutting a stencil um, in my Gryffindor top, which cost me so much money. And um, I was probably the tallest person in Harry Potter world by about two foot. Um, you know, I did feel like Hagrid surrounded by a world of Dobbies. Um, I digress there. Let's not talk about Harry Potter because I'll keep talking. There it is. Uh, that was cutting a portrait stencil of my friend Hannah. And um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope I taught you something. I hope I didn't bore you, which I probably did. Uh, please, of course, subscribe to my channel. Uh, watch some more videos. Uh, share this. And um, don't cut yourself if you try this. But you will cut yourself. I'll see you around. Goodbye. Take care.